we have some more details that have come out now about the Starlink Mini. So a couple days ago, I posted a video showing you the first images and details that we knew about the Starlink Mini, which is the upcoming super portable version of the Starlink. I showed you, you know, the size of it. It's about the size of a laptop, really small compared to the standard dish. I also told you that it was gonna cost about half as much, anywhere from 250 to probably the $300 range. And now we know a lot more. I'm gonna get into all that in this video, hopefully answer some of those common questions I was getting in the comments from uh, Monday's video. So let's jump right in. So what has happened was last night, Starlink uploaded a couple documents to their website and I was able to find these. There's no link to it directly, but based on the other versions for the other kits, you know, I was kind of searching and just manually typing in the URLs to try to find these documents because I knew they were gonna be coming out soon. And I managed to find the official spec sheet and the install guide for the Starlink Mini. So those two documents give us a lot of cool information and tell us a lot about the kit that's going to be coming out in the next few months, according to Elon Musk. So we now know some of the, in addition to the dimensions of the unit, which is like I'd mentioned about the size of a laptop, we know that it's gonna be really lightweight. So it's gonna be under two and a half pounds. The dish itself without any of the accessories like the kickstand is about 2.4 pounds. It's about 1.1 kilograms. I also found out that the antenna itself has a 110 degree field of view. That's the same field of view as the current standard antenna. So that's really good news. That will help with obstructions and being able to see as many satellites as possible. So even though it's a smaller antenna, it looks like it retains the same field of view as the standard. And just like the standard, since it doesn't have a motor, it just has that kickstand mount, it will be a self-aligning dish. So you have to manually aim it if it's out of alignment by a certain amount of degrees, which is not a big deal for a portable dish. I also found out that there's gonna be a status LED on the back corner of the dish. There's gonna be a little light, kind of like how the routers, the Starlink routers for Gen 2 and Gen 3 have the little status LED. The mini dish is also gonna have that to be able to tell you quickly, at a quick glance, what the status of the dish is, whether you know it's online, powered on, booting, et cetera. And there's also gonna be a factory reset button right on the back of the dish. So you press the button, hold it down for a few seconds, and you'll be able to factory reset the router. Speaking of router, the Wi-Fi router that's integrated into the dish, this is a little bit of the bad news that we found out yesterday. So the router technology that it's gonna come with is Wi-Fi 5 technology, which is older, and unfortunately it's lower performance, lower range. Now I think there's two main reasons why they decided to do that. They wanted to keep costs down and they wanted to keep weight and the form factor as small as possible. So they're probably just using the older Wi-Fi technology to help accomplish those two goals because I think the priority with the ultra portable dish is not necessarily Wi-Fi range or Wi-Fi speed performance. I think it's more so people want that integrated, compact, ultra portable package and they're willing to sacrifice a little bit of that performance. But the good news as far as connectivity is that there is a built-in ethernet port on the dish. So you will be able to plug in devices such as a network switch, maybe a third-party router, or even wire up a mesh system. So you can use wired mesh with the Starlink Mini in addition to wireless mesh. It is backwards compatible with the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 Starlink mesh Wi-Fi routers. So because they uploaded the install guide for the Starlink Mini to the site, we actually get to see now what is included in the kit exactly. So you get the dish, of course, itself. The mini dish has an integrated router, so that's an all-in-one package. You get a power cable. So this is kind of interesting. The power cable is gonna be a DC power cable. It's gonna be about 15 meters or about 50 feet long. So plenty of range in my opinion to be able to take that from your campsite to a clearing or wherever you need to place the dish for optimal signal. In addition to the just the power cable, you get a separate wall adapter that'll allow you to plug that into an AC outlet. So you can use you know, a standard wall outlet or maybe plug it into your inverter, that sort of thing. And this one was surprising. In the kit, in every Starlink Mini kit, they're gonna include a pipe adapter in addition to the kickstand. So the kickstand, as you know, that comes with the standard dish, you've seen that before. That will also come with the Starlink Mini dish, as well as the pipe adapter. So you'll be able to have a plenty of flexible mounting options right out of the box without needing to buy additional mounting accessories. So now let's move on to the really good stuff. I had mentioned the DC power cable and 
the, the probably the best feature and the most thing I'm excited about to learn is the fact that the Starlink Mini can be powered directly from DC. So the Mini is gonna come with something like this. This is the wall adapter that plugs into a standard AC outlet and on the bottom of it is just a standard DC barrel connector. So this is this actually came with the Gen 3 mesh router, but it's gonna be the same thing or something similar that comes with the Mini to be able to use it on AC. What if you don't wanna use AC though? Well, that's why the cable, which is gonna look kinda of like this, is detachable from that. And you're gonna have the same ends on each side. You're gonna have a DC barrel plug, which is a pretty standard size. There's gonna be plenty of aftermarket options and cables and adapters, that sort of thing. It comes on both ends. Now this is obviously a very short version of it. The cable that comes with the Starlink Mini is gonna be about 50 feet or 15 meters, as I had mentioned before. But this is really great because what it means is that you can now power the Starlink Mini directly from a DC power source, like a battery or a power bank or your RV system, whatever the case may be. Now, the spec sheet for the Starlink Mini says that it can accept a voltage range from 12 to 48 volts DC and it will use up to 60 watts. And now the 60 watt setting is maximum power consumption for the dish. So that's with snow melt setting on and it's using the max amount of power available. Starlink actually lists the average power usage for the Starlink Mini at just 25 watts. 25 watts, that's insane. That's about half of what the Gen 2 standard actuated dish used. So Starlink Mini is gonna be very power efficient. And there was something else interesting about the power input options as well. According to the spec sheet, your Starlink is gonna sell a, an adapter, a USB-C adapter. So you're gonna be able to plug this DC barrel connector cable into an adapter that outputs USB-C. So that means you'll be able to plug it directly into your car's USB-C outlet or maybe a portable power bank something that can provide uh, up to that PD 100 watt standard for USB-C. Now we don't have really any other information about accessories, power supply accessories from Starlink that they'll be offering. I assume that at some point they'll offer like a, a traditional cigarette lighter adapter to be able to plug it directly into some of the older style connectors and cars, but we'll just have to wait and see until more information comes out about all the accessories that are gonna be compatible with the Starlink Mini. So those are new things that we learned last night. I'm trying to keep you updated as much as possible as information comes out. So those are really exciting new features that are, we now know have been confirmed for the Starlink Mini. So we have direct DC power, finally, on a Starlink dish. We have USB-C power. That's pretty awesome. Really the only sort of disappointing news that we got from this information is the fact that the Wi-Fi router is gonna be rather weak compared to what we have now for the Gen 3 standard and even the Gen 2 standard actuated. So in the official specs, Starlink says that the Starlink Mini Wi-Fi router can cover up to about 1,200 square feet. Now that's about half of what even the Gen 2 Wi-Fi 5 router was capable of. So it's gonna be probably an interesting test when I finally get my hands on it and see what the actual range is because remember, it's an integrated Wi-Fi router. It's in the dish itself. Now, when I go camping in my travel trailer, what I typically have to do to get a, the best signal is put my Starlink dish anywhere from you know, 15 to 50 or more feet away from my actual campsite to find a clearing that I can have some open sky. And that's not a problem with the standard kit because you just have the dish sitting out there and you have the router back in your RV or travel trailer, whatever you have. With the Starlink Mini, that's gonna be a little bit challenging now that the router is actually in the dish itself. So if I have to put it like 40 feet from my campsite where I'm actually gonna be sitting, will that weaker Wi-Fi chip, will that be able to get me enough speeds, enough signal to be able to have a good internet experience while I'm inside my RV? That's gonna be a really important question that needs to be answered once we get our hands on it and can do some real world testing. I'd really hope that Starlink would put a Wi-Fi 6 chip in there. It's way faster, delivers better range. But obviously, Starlink is prioritizing cost and ultra portability on this unit compared to just raw performance. So that's your Starlink Mini update for today. As always, I'll continue to roll out these videos anytime I get new and important information. So make sure you are also subscribed to our website, starlinkhardware.com, so that you never miss any of these important updates as they come out. Let me know what you think of these recent developments in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you about them, and we'll see you in the next video.